so to speak, here. And in fact, I want to look at the Y displacement on this part and just get a, get a feel for what that is. Um, it's actually 30, uh, 0.03 millimeters, not 0.03 inches. So we can view the value of that and just quickly toggle between those and see what that turns out to be on each of our different, uh, each of our different iterations here. So from that, we'd be able to go ahead and make some selections um, as to what type of, of thickness we wanted to go to for this part. And of course, we'd want to potentially modify uh, some of the other parts in this assembly so that they would still mate up accurately. Um, but having generated uh, all of these different, um, these different pieces of data, we might want to create an analysis report for this, and that way we can communicate this with other members of our team, potentially, um, you know, managers or customers or anybody that's interested in, in seeing what kind of results we got and why we made the decisions that we made. So having done that, I'm just clicking on the report button here, and um, we'll see a, a report generated that's going to contain all of the different results, the stresses, the displacements, safety factors, um, as well as different views of this, uh, this part showing the actual stress flow in a couple of different orientations so that we can uh, report that out to anybody that, that wants to just read through that. So this is going to generate that stress analysis report here. It will just pop up in an HTML format, um, pull it up in my browser, and I can, I can view it, um, kind of go through and review what, what shows up there, as well as being able to um, forward that on to anybody that, that wants to review it. So as you can see here, it's a very comprehensive report that's getting generated. It's going to cover all three of the iterations that I, that I calculated here um, for the different thickness on that part. And of course, we could also go through and track multiple different parametric dimensions using that same tool. We might you know, go in and, and identify several different ones that we wanted to track, and that would allow us to look at different combinations of those variables and what kind of results we get from that. So as you can see here, this is going to pop up in my, in my browser, and uh, we can have a look at some of the physical properties of the part, um, as well as what our objective and settings were as we ran this uh, this analysis, what materials were used, the body loads that were applied. You can see those all being applied in the context of the assembly in these, in these views. And uh, as we scroll down through here, we'll get, we'll get to the results as well. And you can actually see uh, the von Mises stress as it's flowing through that part, as well as the first and third principal stresses and the displacement on the part in the different configurations. And of course, this winds up being kind of a long report because it is looking at all of the different configurations that we set up here, uh, the 3 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and then at the end, uh, we've even got the, those 10 millimeter thick uh, wings on that part there. So with that, uh, we will end our, our uh, demonstration on the simulation inside of Inventor. Uh, we've got a couple of other things we wanted to pass along here for uh, anyone that is interested in tracking uh, some, some information easily from our website. Notice I'm, I'm just going to go to uh, pacificad.com here. Down on the lower left, we've got a manufacturing solutions segment of this website. And in the lower right, there's something that we want to make everybody aware of, which is our manufacturing forum. Uh, if you click on that link down in the lower right here, it's going to take you to our manufacturing forum. We've got a lot of tips and tricks and discussions that are going on there. Um, basically, just register for that, and you can, you can keep track easily of such things as service packs and updates. Uh, we will periodically post uh, a link to new service packs that might be interesting to our customers. Obviously, the Inventor Professional uh, service pack that was recently released here, we've got a link to download that, and uh, as well as the, the new 3D connection driver for anybody that's using a, a 3D navigation device and, and uh, needs to get the latest driver. Um, there was one very recently updated that uh, turns out to be an important improvement for a lot of Inventor users. And of course, also here on this website, you can sign up for these 
very webcasts. And as you can see here, uh, there's, a, there's a link to go ahead and sign up for our Inventor Sheet Metal uh, webcast that's coming up in October. And we will be keeping these uh, up to date as we go on, and we'll probably be scheduling more of these uh, webcasts from time to time. So that's an easy way to keep tabs on, on what's happening. And with that, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for your time today. Um, we've, we've enjoyed being able to present this to you, and we, we hope to see you back at another one of these web, webcasts in the future on, on any of the uh, many different subjects that we may cover. Um, if you have questions, comments, uh, if you have any, any questions about what you saw today or, or uh, comments on what you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to get in touch with me, um, John Ulrich, I'm, I'm at extension 150, or Jason Britton is at extension 124. You notice the phone number is the same for everybody here at Pacific CAD, 800-722-2621. And uh, lastly, Steve Rico will be the guy to answer any questions you might have about current promotions or pricing on the various pieces of software that we have available, and he is at extension 125. Thanks again for your time today, and we appreciate talking with you.